Okay guys, I'm gonna take you for a real quick spin around where I'm camping, uh, which is the Spring Creek Cramp Campground that I can't say because it's English. I have trouble with that some days. But uh, I'm in site 19, which I would do again. Um, these are primitive sites, so they're not gonna be, um, you're not gonna have water hookups, you're not gonna have electricity. So if you can't live without that, then I would tell you. But there's a lot of people camping over here tonight. Um, thought we would run around real quick and take a look at this side and then we'll go back over to the other side so you can see the main campgrounds but as you'll see in front of us is um, the river and you can walk down to the river right here what I may do is I thought about parking and going and taking pictures but maybe we can go to the other side or we come back down here later maybe this evening and um, if we have a sunset we might take a sunset pictures but we may not have a sunset to take pictures of but um, yeah let's go over to the other side real quick all right guys so here we go we're going up to the main campground here at uh, mouse tail landing that's a lot to say mouse tail landing state park Found the ranger's house. How you doing, Mr. Ranger House? You got a nice little house. It's a real pretty park. And fall is showing its colors. There's a truck sign. Do you see that truck sign? Um, why is it like they're getting ready to launch that truck? Hmm. Uh, nope, nope. Oh dear, running across in front of the truck. Look at there. I <laughs> had the camera on. Do you know how many times this year I have had the camera on and caught wildlife going in front of it? All but the one time at Big South Fork when the, the owl flew in front of the windshield. I mean within feet of the windshield. Okay, this is a hill. Understand? I feel like launching my truck up this hill. <gasps> armadillo! There's an armadillo. There was an armadillo on the side of the road. That's the first one I've seen here in Tennessee. Personally, I've heard everybody talking about it. That's the first one I've seen in Tennessee. That was an armadillo. I forgot which camera to look at. That was an armadillo. Okay, so we're at the campsites up here. These are not bad. They got an armadillo here. <laughs> um, these are these are pretty nice, actually. Small, kind of small. I wouldn't be able to do that one. Uh, they do have electrical and water hookups. Remember that if you want to come bring your camp trailer. They have them. Okay, so I see how the sites do. They loop. Do little loops, and you got side. So our sites here no it's not a site these over to the left how you doing um yeah i mean i can make them work i can make a couple of these work but they're so close together i'm a big fan um of how they are here we'll pull in this uh, no no not that one we'll pull in that I'm pulling this one so you can see it. They, how they loop. They kind of do a loop around themselves like this. Respect everybody's privacy. But they, these are too close for me for camp, for a tent camp. They got a couple pull throughs. I mean, you, you, know, you can get your RV in here. These are really nice. I mean, I would. Oh, wow. But there's only one centralized bathroom up here for these. So if you have a bathroom in your camper or whatever, that's great. But you're going to be hiking a slight hike just to get to the other. Do not enter. Okay, I will not enter. Let's 
so they just do kind of like a loop around there's four or five campsites and you go to the next one i have to look see exactly how many campsites there are in each campgrounds i think well over 20 uh 19 where i stayed there's it's like 24 25 there's another armadillo what you're kidding me now over where i'm staying i've heard a bunch of squirrel go figure but that's two armadillos i've seen since i've been through here oh my god that's crazy and I, I, my cameras are right there where I can take a picture, but I don't know how they are as far as if you uh, make noise, do they roll up into a ball? I've never messed with one. I've never been around them very often. Listen to me. Can I pick him up and roll up in a ball and I can bowl him? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to wildlife. Wow. This, this, she wasn't joking about the hill here. You go up one, you come back down one, and it looks like the river beach area. Really cool. A really cool part. But like I said, it's not one that you're going to walk to everything. Uh, unless you just love to walk archery range. <gasps> we have an archery range. And here is a playground for your little ones i kind of like how they're not right beside camp spots and there's picnic areas nice little picnic areas all around i think this road does a big ginormous loop maybe no it did ends here in a little bit one way or another i'm gonna get you get you get you oh i'm riverfront road Huh. What's going on here? <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> We're, uh... Oh, hell, hell! Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, God. Stuff's falling. People are losing their lives. One way, though. This is not... Yeah, it is on the map. Kinda. <laughs> it's on my GPS. But I don't think it's on their map. Well, worst thing can happen is I can piss off some hikers. I mean, make some hikers mad. Man, if I could see an armadillo within spit range where I could take a picture of him, I'd stop taking a picture of him. That's two I have seen. I love seeing wildlife. I love seeing wildlife. You know, it's like a couple weeks ago when I was in Big South Fork. I was just hoping and praying to see a bear somewhere driving around. But never did happen. Of course, last time we was up that way, Bill was just dying and itching to see a rattlesnake. I don't know. One just as bad as the other, I guess. If you don't know the other one's there, you can step on it and get bit. This is gorgeous through here. But if... You see the bear, you know to get away from him. This is pretty back to here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be back to here or not, but didn't say not. Didn't say anything about off-road use only. Which that only slows me down a little bit. If this was all mud and stuff, I wouldn't be here. This is gonna be a long video, isn't it? Alright guys, so we're Continuing on this road, man, I guess I never realized uh, that this part of Tennessee had the hills and stuff it does here around the river, I guess. I'm going to grab a picture of this. So yeah, I'm using the Sony A100 this weekend quite a bit to take pictures. I'm also taking pictures. I could do one on this real quick. I got some things that I'm gonna bring out a 
uh, video on the tw difference between the Sony and the Canon. And one of the things that, uh, I don't know, it, it tricks me up quite a bit. And not 100% sure why it does so bad. But I, it catches me every time. Why well, can't I find an armadillo where I can take a picture of him? They've all been over there on that side of the truck. Give me one on this side. You're so rude. <laughs> so this trip video may be a two-parter. Um, may do just a ride around. May do a separate video and tour of the park. I don't know. Think it out loud so you can delete this part, future Patrick. Gorgeous back through here. I wasn't expecting this at all over here. No vehicles beyond this point at any time. Oh, no parking anytime. Well, that sucks. <laughs> they do have uh, backcountry camping, so if you want to backpack here, you can. I saw a son, his father, and a young couple that were headed out to do that very thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Real nice area. It's Riverfront, Riverfront Road, Primitive Campground Camp, Reserved. So you have to be, oh, okay, for Boy Scout stuff. That's pretty sweet. A port john You can park back there, but you can't park right here. Anytime. I guess you're supposed to do a drive-by zinger. Beautiful park. If you ever get a chance to come check it out, but don't be uh, one of the, can't be one of those. You gotta have a bathroom real close because it's not gonna happen. And you're stuck in Porta Johns, no showers in certain spots. Where, where I'm staying, back here, um, I would say the main one has a shower. I think I know it does. I know it says it has a shower. But there. I think there was only two campsites. It was really close enough to the bathroom to justify staying there. And I think one of those, or maybe both of those, were actually handicapped spots. So I'm not handicapped 100%. This is just gorgeous, folks. The leaves are just about right. There's still quite a few, though, that haven't turned here. Um, but it's so dry. We need rain so bad. And that's what's gonna suck. We're gonna get a storm. And it's probably gonna knock all the leaves off the trees because they're so dry and they're just ready to fall off. What's that up there? Lots of erosion. I had erosion through here. Okay, that's going to be it for the drive around part of this. Um, if I turn this into a separate video, um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. It was gorgeous. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, that gravel road wasn't that long but it was long enough to enjoy and just drive around 
kill some time. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Oh, it's the visitor center. It's where I came in this morning. Or this afternoon earlier. Huh. Okay. Cool. How are you doing? This is pretty sweet. I, I tell you what, this is sweet. I like this campgrounds, y'all. But like I said, if you um, need to stay next to a bathroom, probably not the place for you. Uh, if you can live with porta potties, then you're okay. But if you're, um, if um, you gotta have a full Monty of a bathroom, not for you. That's it on this part. So. I appreciate you watching it. If this becomes part of the full video, then well, let's move on to the next thing. Outside of that, be prepared.